Welcome to part six of walking 14 miles for our brave soldiers that are fighting in this war on terrorism. And now they're sending our boys and girls to a bullshit war. And anybody who wants to go over and fight in Libya, I'm sorry. You're losing. If you believe that we should be over there in Libya, then you're misinformed. And you're losing in this war of information because I, I do believe, and I'm sorry you gotta hear that from me, but I'm against any more war. I'm tired of our soldiers getting destroyed by depleted uranium bullets. Yeah, they're all getting cancer. Uh, and you, this might be shocking news to someone just watching this video. Man, it's like back in the 70s, my, I remember my dad was really frustrated with, uh, with uh, nuclear power plants and because of the, they didn't know what to do with the nuclear waste. And I told dad, I said, well, I'd send it in, I'd send it out into space and just keep it, you know, just send them out into space. Uh, that's what I would do. <laughs> like, just keep, and it would keep going forever. That, that was my, I mean, hell, there's probably nuclear explosions all the time out there in space. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that was my easy answer. Well, they had a problem with, with what they were going to do with depleted, depleted uranium. So, you know, they were storing it here, dumping it in the ocean there, putting it in abandoned coal mines here in Pennsylvania. You know, ones from 1800s, they just, oh, let's put it down there, yeah, woo! Who knows where the hell they put it, you know? You can, any smart man can come up with some good theories, like, you know, I'm very proud of my, uh, my thinker. <laughs> I'm a very smart man. But, uh, anyways, so, so what do they come up with? Hey, let's give it to the military, man! They, they can make some powerful bullets and weapons out of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Who cares about our greatest patriots? Let's, let's kill them, man. That's, that's like every time they shoot their gun, they're going to get radiated by a radiation bullet. What the hell? You know, I was so mad when I found, I was walking actually one day, and uh, some guy, he, he was a Vietnam veteran, and he's, he talked to me for a really long time, and he said, I want you to check this out on the internet. And I did. And he must have been some kind of, uh, like, someone who can envision the future, because he said, we need you to start talking about this, Terry, because you, what you do. And here I am. Well, that was probably three or four years. No, it was more than, it was less than four years because I've been walking four and a half years. So I, I would say almost three years ago, he gave me this information and I've been so sick at my stomach every time I think about it because I, I what the hell? You know, so everywhere we go, we're shooting de deplete. I mean, here we are in America right now. We're all like paranoid about the Japanese radiation coming over from these nuclear power plants. But how do you think those people feel in all the places that we've been fighting since they started uh, shooting depleted, depleted uranium shells, all right? Everywhere we go, we're causing nuclear disaster, an environmental nuclear disaster. And like I told you guys, you know, I came up with a, a Obama should be arrested for being the biggest eco-terrorist in the world for letting that thing get out of hand down in the Gulf of Mexico and letting it letting it just totally destroy our Gulf of Mexico, destroyed our tourism, destroyed who knows how long the seafood from that area is going to be tainted. I'm never going to eat seafood from anywhere in the sea right now. I mean, I'm going to eat. I'm a meat and potatoes man until I die now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so, I mean, but think about it, all the presidents who have sent our soldiers into war with depleted uranium shells are eco-terrorists too, and they should be all arrested. I mean, it's not our, I mean, we are the voice 
of our soldiers, my friends. We had to stand up and we had to say no. What they just did with Libya is totally against the Constitution. They can't send our soldiers to war over this crap. This is crazy. And you people are just sitting there and letting them get away with it. I can't believe this. It's just, oh man, I'm not. I'm calling Mr. Kretz every week, telling him time to be a patriot. Like I said in one of my first videos in this set of videos, you know, Mr. Kretz, you have to be a patriot. I know one day when I'm sitting in the FEMA camp around the campfire talking to all the young youngsters, telling them how when I was a young man, I tried to save this country. We'll be eating marshmallows at the FEMA camps and enjoying the freedom of the FEMA, FEMA camp. Woohoo! Freedom, baby, sitting in a FEMA camp. Basically prison for a reservation. We'll be on the reservation like the Indians. And trust me, they don't want us to last 100 years on the FEMA camp reservation. They're going to eliminate us. So I see in part seven of walking 14 miles for our soldiers and patriotism and I'm going to finish flag 14, 6,999 miles, baby. Woohoo, 500 miles. This flag will have 499 miles. And the next time you see me, I'll have flag number 15. And I'll be walking, stealing boots number 25. But uh, it'll be great because I'm just, uh, no one's ever done this before, my friends. I'm one in a million billion, like I said. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later.